Hi, and um, welcome to episode 5. Uh, wow, this has flown by. Um, we're going to be looking at the next 10 autographs. I'm not going to explain what's happening now. Hopefully by now you've watched the earlier episodes so you know what's going on. So the first um, autograph we're going to look at is uh, Kelly Brook. Um, Kelly's started off life as a TV presenter um, in the UK, things like Big Breakfast, but she's moved on to TV and film since then, mostly in the U in uh, the USA, um, things like Smallville, Piranha, 3D, that kind of stuff. Um, so this is quite a cool autograph from Kelly, it was way before she sort of hit the heights of fame that she, she knows now. Um, um, a bit annoyed again with this picture, like some of the other ones in my previous videos, I cut it out of a magazine, it really annoys me, I did stupid stuff like that back in the day, but we're talking early 2000s here, technology wasn't as good as it is now, and you couldn't just wang off digital pictures <laughs> like you can these days, so you had to make do with what you had. Um, but it's still cool, I had a reply back from Kelly, which is really nice. Um, don't know if she signs any more through the mail, something I need to look into, um, but I am pleased with this one, it's a nice picture. The next autograph I've got is from Saskia Reeves. Uh, now Saskia, I, I originally sort of first saw Saskia in the film ID, which is um, uh, sort of a, a UK um, film about football hooliganism. It's a fantastic film if you've not seen it, definitely worth a watch. But she's recently done things like the Lars von Trier's film Nymphomaniac, um, which has come out recently. So. Um, so yeah, again, this this was back in the early days when Saskia was sort of a much much um, less popular actor, or sorry, not less popular, but less well-known actress than she is now. So it was great to get this little, this signed picture from Saskia Reeves. Um, uh, yeah, and a cool response from her. Uh, the next autograph I've got is from Ingrid Pitt. Um, sadly, Ingrid is now deceased, um, so which makes this one even more special. Um, she was in films like The Wicker Man and Countess Dracula. Uh, the Wicker Man is my all-time favourite film. Absolutely fantastic. Not that pile of Dross Nicolas Cage remake, but the original with Edward Woodward. Um, superb film. Uh, this is actually a picture I'd bought and sent to Ingrid to get signed, which is why the quality is quite nice on it. Um, there is a tiny, teeny bit of nudity in it, which I've which I've sensed on the in the picture. Um, but it's a really cool picture to have got back signed from Ingrid, and um, and one that I'll treasure as I say, because sadly she is deceased, and so. You know, you can't pick up pictures from, from Ingrid anymore, which is a real shame. But great picture and very, very pleased with this one. Uh, next picture is from Julie Christie. Uh, she was in Dr. Zhivago, films like Don't Look Now, uh, Fahrenheit 451. Um, through the mail request, at this point I think I'd started sending off more American through the mail requests. Um, and, and got quite a few responses back, certainly in the early days of collecting when sending off to America. Um, I've heard small rumblings that possibly this might be secretarial, not sure, don't know, somebody might be able to say, tell me yes or no if it is or isn't. Um, I'm blissfully unaware of the fact that it is, and so it is residing on my site at the moment, but um, you know, if there's any proof out there that Julie doesn't sign and, and gets her secretary to sign, then, then do let me know. Um, but it's a nice picture of Julie uh, and a nice clear signature on there, which I'm really pleased about. And uh, the next autograph is Linda Hayden. Um, big fan of Linda's. She's an amazing actress. She's probably most famous for um, for sort of hammer horror films like Blood on Satan's Claw and, and a number of others. Um, so proper sort of, yeah, I guess, I guess well, no, no, I was going to say Scream Queen, but that's not the right not the right um, description for her. Um, just a fantastic, fantastic actress, a hammer horror star, I suppose. That's the best way to describe her. Um, nice one of her pictures that she provided and signed back to me. It's in gold pen, so it doesn't show up brilliantly on the picture, but um, hopefully you can see it on there and it's clear enough that you can uh, you can read the, the autograph on there, which is cool. Uh, the next one is from Louise Redknapp, who is a TV presenter and in the back of the day, back in the day was a, a pop star. For the life of me, I can't remember the name of the group she was in now, um, but she was in a pop group, married to uh, footballer Steve... Um, Oh God, what's his name? Redknapp, um, Jamie Redknapp. That's it. <laughs> uh, footballer Jamie Redknapp. Um, again, this is one of the older requests I sent off. Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I think when I sent this, she wasn't married to Jamie Redknapp, so she signed it under her. Um, just, I'm just wondering. She's, I think her surname was Nerding before, so that doesn't look like that to me. So maybe, maybe she was married to Jamie at this point, um, and and signed it Redknapp. I'm not sure, but yeah, decent enough autograph. Pleased with that one. 
the next one is um, a signed picture of Lynn Redgrave, who's probably best known for films like The Virgin Soldiers. Unfortunately, when this one came through, as you can probably see, it's it's really crumbled. It's not in a particularly good state. It was it was in a bit of a mess. The the, the postie must have played football with the envelope or something on the way to deliver it, which is a real shame. I've written on here, and, and again, I'm not sure. I think I sent a through the mail request for this, but I, I can't remember. It may have been through her website. I certainly didn't purchase it, um, but I don't remember whether this was a, a through the mail request or whether it was a, a sort of a direct request via an email address or via her website. So, um, so yeah, the quality of the picture is not brilliant because it's been battered and bruised, but still a nice signed autograph from her all the same. Um, the next autograph is really cool. This is Saffron Burroughs, who uh, was in the film Deep Blue Sea, amongst others. But recently she's been appearing in the Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. series. Uh, I don't think she's in it anymore, as far as I'm aware. Certainly not in this current series. But she has been um, a, a sort of semi-recurring character in, in Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And it's really nice. She's, she's um, dedicated it, and she wrote Happy New Year on it and dated it as well. So you can see how old this is. This is 2001. Um, so right, right at the very beginning of my autograph collecting. Um, but it's a nice picture. And she's, you know, she's made an effort. She's personalised it and put Happy New Year and whatnot on it. So, um, yeah, really cool. Especially as it's probably a lot harder to get hold of her now. She is a Marvel uh, actress, as opposed to back in the day when she was an up and coming actress. So, always good to get people when they first start out in the in the acting world. Uh, next autograph is Emily Watson. Um, Emily has really rose to fame over the last few years in things like The Book Thief and War Horse. Um, but she's made some amazing films over the years and I really wanted to get an autograph from her. Now you can probably just about make out her autograph. It's it's on her coat, sort of next to the button that you can see about halfway down here on her coat. Basically, if you look at the actual autograph itself, it looks like the autograph's been scratched in with a, a pin or something. It's really bizarre. So it is signed, but it's just the faintest, smallest autograph, and it's on that black coat, which doesn't make it stand out particularly well. But the actual autograph is a lot clearer, um, but hopefully you can see it on there. Yeah, nice nice response from, from Emily. And um, very last autograph for this particular video is Tara Fitzgerald. Um, probably known for things like, I think she was in a series called... Um, I think it was Waking the Dead, possibly, back in the day. She's done films like Sirens uh, with Hugh Grant. But more recently, she's known uh, as an actress from Game of Thrones. She, she was in Game of Thrones, a pretty pretty nasty character. I can't remember the name. Um, her husband is um, the guy who thinks he's the true king of, of um, Westeros, or the true king, uh, and burns his daughter at the stake. He's the one who burns his daughter at the stake. Um, this is this is Tara who plays his wife. Uh, again, received this way way before she'd starred in Game of Thrones. So again, it's nice to get something from her from back in the day when she wasn't so well known, and it was easier to get in touch with her and uh, and get a signed picture. So so yeah, that's Tara Fitzgerald, and a, a really cool autograph from her. Very happy with that one. Um, that'll do for now. I think we've come to the end of the video, and um, I'll see you in the next one for my next set of 10 autographs. Cheers.